Good evening, everybody. It is about, I don't know, maybe five in the morning, so good morning. Um, I had to record this really short video because I seen some really disturbing footage from a woman in a domestic violence situation, and basically the guy threw her off a balcony and then brought her body back into an elevator and clean, tried to hide his mess. And I read some of the comments in the video, and basically they were saying, women, you know, get out when he hits you. No women. As a person who's gone through a domestic violence situation that lasted way longer than it needed to, it started with verbal and emotional abuse. Please understand something. There are certain things that you have to hold yourself accountable for. If you know that you are suffering with any insecurities, whether it's abandonment issues from past traumas, sexual abuse, uh, <clears throat> lack of a uh, high confidence or lack of self-care and setting boundaries if you know that is you as a person i recommend you go ahead and get your healing first before you allow yourself to date people the reason why i say that is because you leave yourself vulnerable and sub sub subject yourself to being exposed to men that can smell your weaknesses and sense your weaknesses by things you may say or behaviors you have um you have to understand something that man's trauma or that woman's trauma, because it's not just a one gender specific type of thing, has nothing to do with you. So their behaviors may be their way of expressing love. And to them, even though they may know society it's wrong, it's what they understand and correlate what love is. That doesn't make it okay. If you have a situation where that has been your exposure to what love was or what have you, you may tend to be attracted to that type of man. And you may attract more than one man or woman that's like that. So I challenge you to be more responsible for yourself and your choices. And I'm speaking from a woman who made a bad choice and understood where I was emotionally, mentally, and, and, and psychologically when I met my my. I don't want to say abuser, but that's what he was. He was an abuser. Um, it's difficult to say because it's not something that I'm comfortable talking about. It's not something, well, to social media anyway, I'm not comfortable talking about. And it, it reflects on me personally as, a, as I was weak or something. And it's not true. It doesn't mean that I was weak. However, I'm aware of what my issues were that got me to where I was with that particular person. I was so focused on wanting to feel a part of something or create something and I fail at something that I stayed in way longer than I needed to. And in the process of me staying in as long as I did, I took on a lot of verbal abuse and it wasn't to the extent that you would think. You're not even realizing what's verbal, verbal abuse if you've been exposed to something different, I grew up where, you know, your kids get called bitches and fuck you and all that other stuff. But this situation wasn't like that. I wasn't being called the bitch. I wasn't being cussed out. But there was a, it was a level of verbal abuse that gets ignored that you don't pay attention to. And as you allow those certain things to continue on, then it starts to escalate. So depending on what kind of person you are will determine how much your patient level will be and how much you will take. So again, I challenge everybody, before you want to call that girl, she crazy, whatever the case is, you attract to her. What about you that you put out that makes you attract a woman like that? Um, there's some accountability. You have to be responsible for who you choose. I don't like to be called the victim, so that's why I did my, my digging and my soul searching so that I can understand how did I get in the situation I got in. I was in a vulnerable state. I was in a place where I was in a spiritual space and I was saved and I was like, I wanna get married. I wanna make sure my next kid, I'm gonna be married to the father. And I had that conceived, preconceived notion in my head that to be a wife, I had to be a little bit more patient and I had to be more intentional with everything that I was doing versus if I didn't like something, just be dismissive of it. So there's a fine line with that though. Um, I don't want, I want, I want the conversation to change from men stop hitting women to men get help. Women seek care for yourself. 
increase your self-worth and your self-value and stop leaving it to the responsibility of a man to make you feel worthy to know that he should treat you that way. You teach people how to treat you. Bottom line, it does not matter what walk of life they come from either. People may think, oh, he comes from uh, the hood. He's going to beat you up and steal your money and want to drive your car and don't have anything. That's not always the case. My situation was my my gentleman didn't have a background of violence that I knew of at the time, but he did have a background of violence that was not disclosed to me by him or his relatives. So I say all that to say, please change the conversation from men, women leave men as soon as he hits you. No, women know your worth. Therefore, if you know your worth and you set a certain level of standard for yourself and boundaries, that man won't have room to be emotionally or verbally abusive to you, therefore not putting you in a position to be in an abusive relationship. That's where it starts. It starts with you. His bullshit is not your problem. Your bullshit is your problem. So you're going to have to be accountable for what you attract. That's my two cents on the topic. Y'all have a wonderful day.